we are asked to add the two square root expressions. The first step is to simplify the two square roots. To help us simplify the first square root, let's determine the prime factorization of 80. 80 is equal to 8 times 10. 8 is equal to 4 times 2. 2 is prime. And 4 is equal to 2 times 2. And 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So 80 is equal to 4 factors of 2 and a factor of 5. Let's write this first expression as 8 times the square root of 4 factors of 2, a factor of 5, and x cubed is equal to x times x times x. Because we have a square root, remember the perfect square factors of the radicand will simplify. So 2 times 2 or 2 squared is a perfect square factor here and here, and so is x times x or x squared. And then we have plus 4x times the square root of 125x. Let's find the prime factorization of 125. 125 is equal to 25 times 5. 5 is prime, and 25 is equal to 5 times 5. The prime factorization of 125 is equal to 3 factors of 5. Let's write 125x as 5 times 5 times 5 times x. And 5 times 5 or 5 squared is a perfect square factor of 125x. And now let's go ahead and simplify the square roots. We have 8 times the square root of 2 times 2 or 2 squared. We'll simplify to 1 factor of 2 here and here. So we have 8 times 2 times 2 times the square root of x times x or x squared. We'll simplify to 1 factor of x. And then we're left with times the square root of 5x. Because we're told here to assume that x is greater than or equal to 0 or non-negative, we will not include an absolute value here for this x to the first power outside the square root. Remember, when simplifying square roots or radicals with an even index, or radicals with an even index that contain variables, if the simplified part contains a variable with an odd exponent, we need to include the variables in an absolute value, unless we're told to assume the variables are non-negative. And then we have plus 4x times the square root of 5 times 5 or 5 squared simplifies to 1 factor of 5, and then we still have the square root of 5x. Now let's multiply the factors outside the square roots. Here we have 8 times 2 times 2 times x, which is 32x, square root 5x. And then we have plus 4x times 5 is 20x, square root 5x. Now that we've simplified the square roots, notice how we do have like radicals because both terms contain the same square root factor, which means we can add the expressions because 32x plus 20x is equal to 52x. The simplified expression is 52x square root 5x. I hope you found this helpful.